freaking out, guys. My bird has a chip beak. What to do now? Let me show you what to do. Welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Look at that. The sun is shining. So it was just really, really sad. If you follow me on Instagram, I went to a funeral and I was so sad. Oh, it's just so sad. Anyway, today's a beautiful day to be alive. I'm grateful to be alive. I want to tune in to you today, Monday, because I noticed something with Star, my um, beautiful golden conure male. As you can see, his beak is a little crooked. This. His beak is kind of crooked right here. The tip of his beak. And I noticed it yesterday. And he can't really bite. And I think it's cracked. Sunshine's beak is not as sharp as um, Star's beak. But you can see it's kind of crooked so what we have to do is either take it off or glue it back on proper i think the best thing is just to take it off and put some epoxy on it and then let it grow back out because he can't preen himself he can't climb that's the tip and it was really really sharp and now it's kind of like hi you see he can't even like I love you guys. Those guys are so cute. See, he can't even climb up my hat. He wants to climb up my hat and he lets go because he has pain. You see that? He has kind of like a crack beak, which is really not good. So let's do it. Let's towel him and fix up his beak so that he can be better. You see, she's really active. She's happy. Yum, 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 yum. But he's more calmer. And usually it's the opposite. Uh, uh, usually sunshine here is really calm. And star here is the bold active one. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> yeah. So he needs to like kind of protect his beak because it hurts him. Okay, let's do it guys. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Caroline One Petzold. And um, these are my beautiful golden conures, star and sunshine. Please hit the subscribe button and smash the bell and smash the notification bell as well. And go check out my other channels, um, Angelic Parrots, all my Instagram, Angelic Parrots, Angelic underscore Parrots. Okay, okie dokie. As you can see, his wings are really nicely. I see a tremendous improvement since I imp him new feathers and tail. He's been doing really, really well. He's really happy. But now let's just fix his beak. Next video I'm gonna make is what's like to have golden con ears. <laughs> if you wanna hear about that video, give me a thumbs up. And if you just wanna post one, 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 just post a one on a comment section. I know you wanna watch that videos, what's like to have golden con ears. Golden con ears are the most expensive con ears in the world. Okay, and also one of his feathers fell out, so we're gonna fix that as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's this side. Right in here. Here's a gap, here's the gap. Right in here. Oh, I lost it. Is it? I just put back on the lost wing that that flew out. Okay. And let's see, let's see your beak. I don't know guys if you can see this, but it's really bad. Right here. Tip. And there's all the blood vessels. So if I clip this off, his beak will be really, really short. I'll go up to here. And then we have to stop the bleeding. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh. 
Might have to clip it. Okay, guys, so here it is. Um, Little Star is in very much pain right now because his beak is crooked, the tip of his beak, but um, it's even a little bit overgrown. You can see it's kind of crooked and he can't preen, he can't eat. So what we have to do is we have to take it off. Let's take it off. Let's cover also his eyes so he can't see too much and freak out. Already bleeding. Right now it's already bleeding. Okay, so I have clip it a little shorter. It's bleeding right now. Okay, so I just applied some glue on top of it for the bleeding to stop and to make it more stronger. And now we have just to wait for the bleeding to stop. Okay, make sure he... I don't know if you can see this, guys. Glue has dried. Okay. How's it feeling? How's it feeling, Star? How's it feeling? He's a little stressed, but I um, apply some glue and clip his beak a little shorter. Not all the way where's the crack, but just a little shorter. So hopefully now. He can still climb. It's still a little crooked, but not too bad as it was before. Uh-huh. So I think we fix it. So if your bird has a chip front beak, don't freak out. Um, it's fixable. Uh, first thing is you have to stop the bleeding. Yeah, and he's stressed. So I'm just going to leave him alone right now. He probably flew somewhere and um fell and hit his beak and it it didn't fell off completely then broke off completely it was just chipped and then he was in pain chip beak is very dangerous because the bird if you notice the bird stop eating and drinking that's a bad sign um that can cause them to their death but so he is fine he's active he's eating he's chirping but also the beak they need for preening so if he doesn't preen he can't preen with his chip beak because it's kind of like painful now it's not too painful anymore i don't know guys if you can see this but i think i did fix it now we just leave him alone yeah comfort each other comfort each other yeah i noticed that star is more reluctant and not as bold um that's not his character his character is really bold and she's calmer but she's more active than him because he's probably in pain regarding his beak but yeah if your bird has a chip beak don't freak out that's an easy fix um you don't even need to go to the vet just need to have a uh, crazy glue at home and kind of like you know stop the bleeding and fix it yeah, he's not tired. I'm gonna let him now just like sleep and perch and put him in his cage just to relax. Good boy. Mm. But um, this happened to Love. When he was like one year old, he fell and his tip of his beak um, went off and he was bleeding too. And I had to fix it and I just put crazy glue and he was fine. And the same thing happened to Happy. Happy fell 
and Chippy's beak roll the clip. Hey guys, we have an emergency right now. La, our African Grey fell and he he um, kind of like um, hit the top of his beak and it's broken right now. So I have to kind of like uh, help him. Okay, I'm holding his beak really tight. Just a drop. Okay, we're just gonna hold on. Okay, how are you doing? Okay, okay, the crazy glue has dried. No more bleeding? No more bleeding. Good. He's good. Come on, Abby. Come on, Abby. Come on. Come on. Good. Bleeding has stopped. He, he has no tip anymore. His tip is gone. I noticed that. See that? Yeah, I noticed that. I don't know how he did that. I don't know how he did it to himself. He was on the veranda, on the top of the door, and apparently he was playing too much and he slipped and... Did you saw how it happened? I thought, no, I did not. But I heard him... I just fell. heard a big noise, like a, like a drop. Yeah, so did I. And then all of a sudden... He, then he was walking on the ground. I'm like, whoa. He... And then he flew to you and he put blood light on you, right? I, exactly. That's when you noticed that he was bleeding. Right here. And here too. That's where he and stopped. Once, once he put blood, once he, I saw that, I was like, oh, I knew he was bleeding. Like, you poor thing. Oh, poor thing. Okay. And we just put crazy glue on it and he was sore for one, two days. After the second, third day, he was totally fine. He's, he's happy uh -huh. himself. So anyway, look guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. This was it for today, today, Monday. I'll see you um, in a new episode. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, comment below. If you like the video, comment below. If you want to see a new video, what's like to have golden conyers, put a one in the comment so I know. And I'll see you next time in a new episode. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.